Obviously, this is a field that's been under tremendous stress, drought stress that is, for, for a long time. Um, in recent weeks, it's been aggravated by the excessive heat we've had, which have been in the upper 90s and low 100s. Uh, technically, this field uh, looks like it got through the pollination period just fine. Uh, but as we often talk about, it's not just getting through pollination, it's also getting through the rest of grain fill. Uh, what we'll see as we start to look at these developing years is varying degrees of kernel abortion. And that's the consequence that's most likely to occur during the first couple of weeks following pollination. So one of the, I guess, frustrations of checking fields during a drought is you may come in and find plants where there's obviously an ear developing, uh, and you might have hope that there's actually a, a full kernel set or, or that grain field's progressing nicely. But unfortunately, sometimes when you open up these ears, you'll find um, a lot of kernel abortion and, and uh, and, and this is why folks need to be out in the early stages of grain field during a major drought like this because you can begin to make some decisions on severity of the problem. You may not be able to determine exact grain yield per acre, but you can at least determine the magnitude of the problem. So we'll take a look at this here and see what the kernel abortion looks like. Almost every silk uh, received pollen and almost every kernel or, or at least up to about uh, maybe the final, I'll say half inch of this cob, uh, received pollen and the kernels uh, have begun to, to develop. But um, they're, in, they're in varying degrees now of, of shutting down. And as you look around the circumference of this ear, uh, you might be able to pick out even these subtle differences in the color of yellow that some of these in the middle part of the cob are uh, in beginning to enter that yellow milk stage of development. And then as you go on either side or simply look around the rest of that cob, you'll see kernels that are smaller. Um, they're not as yellow. Um, and in fact, some of these kernels has already begun to shrivel up. And of course, that is definitely not normal. It's definitely not expected uh, in an, on a normal, non-stressed ear. And so we're having a direct effect on, on uh, yield potential uh, because of kernel abortion, even though pollination itself was successful. So here's another ear from a nearby plant. Uh, when you remove the husks, um, this ear is even worse condition than the first year that we looked at. Uh, many, many more kernels have that shriveled uh, symptom indicating that, that they're in the process of aborting. And the ear itself, it's a rubbery feel. It's simply, it's simply not the, the, the firm uh, nature that you'd expect out of an ear corn at this point in time. And, and so that's another indication that the water status of these plants is, is just dropping uh, severely and there's not enough water uh, to sustain the plant's growth. There's not enough uh, turgor pressure to sustain the growth of, of really anything in this plant at this point in time. And so this, uh, this almost this entire ear is in the process of shutting down. You know, to what extent is this entire field under this kind of stress? Because obviously, if the majority of the field is in this shape, uh, then, then the yield prospects for this field are, are extremely low. This is the point in time where you can now begin to do the yield estimation by counting plants and counting kernels and running through the yield estimation formula.